Should be coming back up. Removing the testing 60 FPS from the stream title. Boy, that lasted a long time, didn't it? Okay, welcome back. If uh, this, this is still the start of the stream, minus five minutes of testing 60 FPS. How are we doing? That looks much better. Up here, yes, yes. Refresh if stream not showing back up yet, please. Ed, you're homesick with a stabbing headache. Yeah. Yeah, trying to find something to do that doesn't involve light or sound. Well, I could whisper. I could whisper. But I don't think that's going to help when the guns start firing. Can I get a confirmation that we're back up? I know we're back up. Uh, Kim, you said you see it. Few other people seeing the stream yet? We're going as soon as I go through this door, a cutscene begins. I want to make sure we're up and going. Let's say hi again. Welcome everyone. We are continuing Mass Effect today. We're finally getting off Pharaohs today if the stream stays up. Replace the data drive where all my local recordings are saved. It was crapping out. Hey you Celador. Thank you, Densa. Okay. Let's go through the door. On Saturday, we walked through this door, the cutscene started, and then OBS hard locked my machine. And then everything got restarted, and I offloaded some data, and we fired it back up, and I walked through this door, and then OBS crashed again. Let's not go three for three. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I feel strange. Like I need... <sighs> I, I, I need your help, Liara. I think I need to be fully scanned, analyzed, and then treated. By my Asari girlfriend, please? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Heard about a mod like that, Edge. The, um... 
first time we're, we're gonna i'm gonna make every effort to hang up on the council even if i have to take some seemingly ambiguous renegade option uh god i may have screwed the pooch i hope we can still hang up on him but um yeah my first playthrough i romance no one and i think i think my first playthrough when i got to me3 i might have romanced trainer but then i don't know liara grew on me over the course of that first whole playthrough it was pretty much a done deal patch him through joker setting up the link now commander commander exogeny should have told us about the thorian it would have made your job much easier you might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it <clears throat> The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. Goodbye, Counselor. Oh, lost the connection, ma'am. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take my renegade on the chin for that. So, we're doing pretty good. Paragon, Renegade, take a look. We're nearly maxed on Paragon, level 35. Game caps uh, during a during a first playthrough caps at 50, and during a, an imported character playthrough caps at 60. Does that sound right? I don't think you can even go past 50 your first playthrough. If you've beaten the game and then you start from scratch, does it stay unlocked? Either way, there's not enough XP in the game to get to 60 in one shot. Though there is enough to get to 50, but just barely. That's what I remember. Uh, we're probably not going to hit 50. We're also not going to finish today. We're probably going to finish tomorrow since we lost Saturday's stream. If you take a look, we've extended Mass Effect into tomorrow. I hope we finish tomorrow. We're going to play Abzu on Thursday, and we're going to start Near Automata on Friday. Finally committed to that, got it downloaded and installed. I'm really intrigued. I'm a little apprehensive about needing multiple playthroughs to get the full meaning, but uh, we'll worry about that one at a time. We'll play through it, we'll see where we end up, we'll decide if we want to come back to it and do a second, third playthrough to get better endings, or how to handle that. Uh, we're not there yet. James, it's too bad. They, I think it's too bad they didn't include uh, Vega as a romance option. That would have been pretty cool of them. All right, let's run around the ship. Let's go. Uh, let's go chat with everyone before we get going. I think we'll run some side quests today, and then probably head to Veermeyer. Who wants to head to Veermeyer today? Yeah, Densa. Uh, I've, I've been wrestling with that one, but the more I think about the response I've seen people have to that. People who are overwhelmed by the characters, the beauty of the world, the music has made such an impression on people. And then the story as it unfolds in layers through multiple playthroughs. Well, I want the good stuff that comes after multiple playthroughs, but we got to start somewhere. Edge, once you go fussy, worrier, you never go back. Yeah, I don't know about that. Hey, Claire. Welcome. Message coming in. Thank you for the host, Patch too. Through. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I'm worried about you, Liara. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Oh, Dr. Chocolates is the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. 
Your kind always seemed so rushed and high strung. Well, you get hundreds of years. We're lucky if we get a hundred years. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. <laughs> 150? That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Have we ever met a human in the series who is 150 years old? <clears throat> Wouldn't that be weird if, in, if the human race is still here 100 years from in. now? You Actually, think people will be living to 150? Hey, chameleon, thank you for that host. Welcome. You're scared of us? Welcome, viewers. Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Yeah, I don't know if Chameleon is out there, but uh, everybody check out Chameleon. Let me get, uh, she may not be here in chat. Let me fire out a streamer command for Chameleon. But check out Chameleon here on Twitch. Excellent streamer, good time. Has been picking things up herself. Been streaming a whole lot more lately. There she is. What's up, Kemi? Hello. Thank you for that host. Please check her out. Consider dropping a follow. You'll have a good time over there too. What's up with you, Kemi? I'm doing the best I can. This Leon. is not the flirtiest there dialogue, is it? The council chose you to become a specter. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. I don't want you to look into my history. I want you to look into my eyes. I want you to look into my resting bitch face. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Uh, you just like me for my protean beacon. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the protheans? I admit, your connection to the protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Elenko. Um, damn it, see this is what I get for even having a conversation with Caden. I guess Liara is the jealous type. The Lieutenant and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? I've been waiting for you to ask. No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it, too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. You're overthinking it, Liara. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. Yeah, this sometimes is you need one. Overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Okay. Take your time. I'll be in the captain's quarters. You know where to find me. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. We'll definitely bang, okay? Yes, working moves on Liara. Always awkwardly, especially in this first game. All right. Liara's awkward. She doesn't mind if we awkwardly put the moves on her. Dirty crackhead, welcome. You got some good stuff happening in your life right now. How about you? 
also good. I just got back from a three-month follow-up with the surgeon who did my uh, spine surgery. Had some x-rays, all clear, no nothing fancy, nothing to report. I'll go back in October for a six-month follow-up, and uh, maybe we'll find out more then. Maybe we'll actually see the bones starting to fuse. But I feel pretty good. Got the all clear to, to do whatever. Lift, move. Can take whatever Radville again if I need something. I'm not on any painkillers since getting off the uh, getting off the heavy meds. It's pretty good. Ed, you got a whole set of Assassin's Creed games on sale. You think you'll never get to them? Uh, which which ones have you played? Which ones haven't you played? I'm kind of with Densa that I, I keep thinking about coming back to two, and I've never played Brotherhood or Revelations. Densa, you've played them, right? You're just thinking of replaying them. And I've never played one. Rex, we just opened up, not on Saturday for our, our broken stream, but we did open up Rex's Family Armor Quest. Why don't we go to the Argos Row Cluster and see if we can do that. And I think in terms of equipment, are we just sitting on a ton of stuff? How are we doing money-wise? We might be able to buy another Spectre weapon. If we do a few, do a little bit of uh, equipping and then sell the rest of our gear, we might have enough for another Spectre weapon. Can we buy a second pistol? Like, can we buy a Spectre pistol for Liara? I think we can. Now she can have that Raikou. Edge, you've watched the first, some number of them played. They ran together. Can't remember if you ever ran one yourself. That's how, uh, meh, they strike you. Okay. How would Rex, uh, you're thinking of Grunt, Dirty Crackhead. Rex, actually born. Grunt in number two is the, uh, is the, the pod spawn. Okay. Hmm. Okay, how about Tally? Oh, you want a new shotgun? Let's make sure Rex has uh, our best shotgun first. Tornado 5. 229. Tornado. Oh, we got the Tornado 6. Okay, Tornado 6. Good. Get our assault rifle for Rex. Yeah, let's do Garrus' assault rifle first. Garrus has already got good assault rifle, so Rex is up next. Gets the Raptor 6. Tully gets a better shotgun now. We have pistols and shotgun. Cory Cakes, Mass Effect 1 to 3 are some of your favorite games ever. Me too. Got about six hours into Andromeda and actively dislike it. Yeah, you're definitely not the only one. Uh, I made it about 30 hours in Andromeda and had to turn around. I, I don't want to start a, a big brawl over Andromeda. I hope to finish it one day. It it was very disappointing to me, but there's a, there's a good game in there somewhere surrounded by lots of very uh, frustrating and not very Mass Effect like, ah, it stops. See, that's a touchy subject. Anyways, um, let's try not to beat on Andromeda. There are plenty of people who enjoyed it tremendously, and I want them to. That's good. People enjoy the game? Great. Let's let them enjoy it. And I hope we can come back to it and actually enjoy it for what it is and not worry about what it isn't um, another time. But it kind of broke my heart, too. We never bring Caden out. We never bring Ashley out. Um, so what does it matter if we give them better guns, right? I've been neglecting to upgrade them because... Why? Got way more shields and better biotic protection. Similar. Let's put, let's put them in the Ursa. Even though it has slightly less damage protection, it has more shields, more tech and biotic protection. Garrus! Do we get any new armor for Garrus? No.
Rex is fully qualified to fly in the SSV Daddy Issues. And no problems there. We also have Garrus's uh, sort of loyalty quest. Garrus, find Dr. Salion. So let's try and do Rex and Garrus. And are there any other crew members we can get loyalty-like quests from in the first game? I've missed Rex's many times, and I'm not even sure if I've ever done Garrus's. Looking for supplies? I'm always neglecting to speak with my crewmates enough. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Alright, we can buy another Spectre pistol if we want. Say for Liara. Even right now, we can afford it. Let's sell a bunch of our junk, though. We keep the anti-thorian gas. We're going to keep med upgrades. Um, not really using those, are I? Am I... Toxic seals, we get those higher tier medical implants and they sort of combine the health regen and the toxin resistance. We've gotten better explosives than tier three fusion. Tali has her pilgrimage thing. Yeah, let's uh, make sure while we're down here that we talk to Tali. Maybe we didn't get far enough in conversations with her yet. Incendiary. I think we got better incendiary. That phasic rounds. Keep one of the shield regens. Still don't think we'll use it. Toxic seal three. All right, now weapons. Weapons are easier. We can go through and sell almost all the weapons we've got besides the specter guns we're starting to buy into. Guns, 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 armor. No, we don't need two of those. I doubt we'll even use one. So skeleton, incendiary rounds, might use those. Medic buffer. Well, we don't need three of them. We probably won't even use one. Same. Medic stabilizer. Let's hold on to two for now. Polonium rounds are nice. Toxic damage. We don't need that many, though. Let's sell a couple of them. We'll probably pick up more. Proton rounds. Same thing. L extension. Same thing. Just don't need that many, and we'll probably pick up more. Shield modulator. Extra shields. If someone had really weak shields, we could give them better shields. Guns, 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 armor. Alright, finally made it to the end. Look at that. We're sitting on 400,000 credits. So, do we want to buy a couple Spectre weapons? We could... <laughs> we could give Rex a nice shotgun. Is it worth 250000 We're not taking them out that much. Um, Garrus has already got an assault rifle. I could get myself another one of those, so that I'm, I'm carrying two Spectre weapons. You get Liara a better pistol. Let's get Liara a better pistol. And... Ah, oh, what the hell? What else we're we gonna spend our money on? Let me get a upgraded assault rifle for me. Even though I'm mostly using my pistol, I'll take that upgrade.
Can you double down on kinetic stabilizers? Yeah, apparently you can. I don't know if it functionally stacks, but that might make the assault rifle nice and stable. That nah, will try it. And let's give Liara her gun, sell the spares, and move on. How do you like them apples? New pistol for you. Extra damage, too. Make that thing a beast. That'll do for now. You like combat scanner and radioactive ammo. I should have checked if I had uh, toxic ammo, like radioactive ammo, something. With, uh, it feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. Well, we're getting close. We're not there yet. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. Burned it. You're welcome. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. Hey, Tiger. How goes? I should go. See you later. So when is Tali going to talk to us any more about her pilgrimage? I don't think we have anything in the journal about it yet. So we also need three more matriarch writings our long-term prep for uh, Conrad Werner stuff. Yeah, yeah, that that stuff. Uh, that... Yeah, we're not talking about the Mass Effect 2 loyalty quests, but there are... Thank you, Wu. There, there are loyalty-like quests in the first game. They're just not very extensive. For example, Rex's family armor and Garrus's fine Dr. Salion is a uh, C-Sec baggage. Some of his C-Sec baggage, obviously we get a lot more in two. Hey Toke, what's up? Howdy Jay, just got a ton of games on the Steam sale. What'd you pick up? What'd you pick up? What are you gonna play first? What are the highlights? She doesn't say anything about it until you finish the big Geth series of missions and get their data. They're probably my most neglected ME1 quests. So easy to slide by without talking to all your crew members every time you're on the ship. Dialogue doesn't progress. They don't even talk to you about stuff. Mass Effect 1! Yeah! Batman games, Ori, Gauntlet. What's the word on the Gauntlet remake? Who's played the Gauntlet remake and what'd you think? I was terrible at Gauntlet. I never really played it in the arcades, never really played it on uh, 80s consoles. Just, I was awful at it. The remake got my attention, briefly. Okay, Densa, sleep well. Thanks for popping in and helping me determine that the 60 frames per second is not gonna fly. Probably just need a, a stream PC with more raw horsepower. It is running on a 3770. And uh, that just overworked it. Just worked it too hard. Talk to. Good. Good. 
Did the armor quest say Argos Row? Rex, family armor, find the Turian who stole Rex's family armor. He's hiding at a base somewhere in the Argos Row cluster. Now I have Metgoss in Hydra marked in Argos Row. It might not be that, but when we were going around scanning planets before, I did write a bunch of them down, ones we could land on. Yep, all the colonists. All right, there's only, oh, there's two. Phoenix, Phoenix kind of lost there in the bright. Phoenix and Hydra. Well, except for Fidan. get all teary-eyed for Fidan, but I'm not. Message coming in. Patching it through. Joker, you thank you for the host. I'm glad you were in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Bionic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the bionics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the bionics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. This doesn't overlap with Rex's armor quest, does it? It's just inconveniently timed interjection. We don't have to do this unless it overlaps with Rex's armor. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. I may not have been in this system yet. Tashi! Survey says, rare element, Submarium. Any quest where you have to run around and avoid killing things while killing other things is kind of a trolley quest. A game where you run around shooting things, blowing them up, and then moving on to the next thing you shoot or blow up. The whole hands off, don't touch! Uh, it does. I think I know it's in Phoenix. Be the man. You gotta beat the man. Woo! Rex Schmex, where's Vanderloon? Survey says light metal, cobalt deposit. Um, so woo, the biotic human shield mission is not the same planet as Rex's family armor deal. Okay, so does that mean Rex's family armor deal is not in Phoenix? There's only one planet we can land on in Phoenix. It was Tuntau, right? That's got to be where the biotics are. On the other hand, we have a planet over in Hydra that we can land on. I've got Metgos marked down as landable. So hopefully Rex's armor quest is on Metgos. Could quickly scan, rescan the others, see if there's anything else that shows up now, but hopefully it's on Metgos. And none of these should be rescannable because we've already been here. Unless something changed. Uh, my money's on Metgos, let's land! Metgos, level 2 heat hazard, is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. Uh, dirty Crackhead, Rex Family Quest is on Tuntau. Confirmed? Okay. 
Okay. Change of plans. Bye bye, level two heat hazard. Did you, uh, were you just looking it up? It was when we landed, or it was when we came into the Phoenix system that Hackett told us about the biotic quest. Wiki says that Rex Family Quest is on Tuntau. Works for me. Instead of a level 2 heat hazard, Tuntau is an enormous, low-density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium. Despite being nearly 20 AU from Phoenix, the star's great heat and insulating thickness of the atmosphere make the surface surprisingly temperate. The crust is mainly composed of sodium and silicon dioxide with deposits of various light metals. While Tuntau is not habitable, the relative pleasantness of the surface conditions make it a popular location for small ships traveling through the Argos Row cluster to land for drive discharge. We're bringing Rex. Who else is coming? Rex and Garrus. About Rex and Garrus. Shags, what's up, Shags? How's it going? Hidden structure. It's closest to us. We should go there first. Then the anomaly and the debris. Let's see what we shall see. Dirty, keep thinking you can bring three companions with you? And really, why can't we? The Dragon Age. Got that in your in your head. please. Nico, please. I don't think the gun's getting him. Come on. He's actually going to take the Mako out on foot. Guns, please. Guns. Guns, guns, guns. I'm just gonna run you over, okay? Brace yourself. Mako don't like shooting backwards. Negative contacts, Commander. <sighs> I don't follow. Dirty, what's... Where is Dragon Age 2 missing from? Yeah, Stormtrooper mode. That's what happened, Brian. Stormtrooper mode. Engaged. Xbox store. This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. Good, Rex. Good. Probably have some points to spend for at least Rex. Uh, I guess Garrus is doing her first aid here. First aid and electronics and decryption. Garrus gets all the fancy stuff.
Master Immunity or Master Shield Boost? If Origins and Inquisition. So, uh, why would that be? You're probably looking on an Xbox One. Inquisition being there makes sense. Origins recently became backwards compatible, which is why it's there, right? I mean, if you were playing on a 360, Dragon Age 2 would still be there, right? It's just, has it not been added to the backwards compatibility program yet? That would be my guess as to why it's not there. Take anybody out with that? everywhere. Enemies in a few places. Actually, uh, from what I understand, unless it's different on consoles, Dragon Age 2 actually uses the same uh, engine as Dragon Age 1. It was just used very differently. God, you guys are jumpy in here. Go, go, go! Quit moving so much. Standing in a very good spot, are you? These are some jumpy ass pirates. Garrus goes down, timing on the heel. It was awful. And Rex, are you even fighting? Enemy is everywhere. I don't think Rex is fighting. He's standing there, he's not shooting. Good to go, man. TV Bob, what's up, Bob? <laughs> King Bob made it. Glad you could make it, Bob. Rex is your favorite. Am I not surprised? behind me shouldn't be under fire right now a lift didn't work Jumpy. 
Now there's some on the upper level, which sort of look like they're down here with us because of the mini-map, but they're up above us. Or they're coming down here right now. That too. Quit jumping around. Seems so spongy here. You love the combat in this, Corey? I really prefer the combat in two and three. I think they made the powers more interesting and much more usable. I think the gunplay was much more responsive. I, I just find one mechanically frustrating. Already. Enemy is everywhere. Thank you. Stay dead. Ah, hey, Rain, what's up? <laughs> Rex is delegating. You've got this. He's freaking out about getting his armor back. Maybe. Rango, hello. Yeah, Rain, this time we're playing one on hardcore and we'll play two and three on insanity. <laughs> I wanted one to be a smoother ride. Can we even do the hard decryption? Can I do the hard decryption? Just about, oh, barely. Stinger six, Avenger six, Hammer six. Tornado and Raptor. Sponges everywhere! Meow, Rex. Meow. Hype for Monster Hunter World. I imagine any fan of the series is pretty hyped for it. I've never played a Monster Hunter game. Cindy explosives, cryo explosives. Magnetic stabilizer and incendiary rounds. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. So wait, is it good armor or bad armor? I'm glad we can help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Rex touches his grandfather's armor. His expression thoughtful, perhaps? Krogan are hard to read. And he shakes off his bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. Does he actually wear that armor? Doesn't, does he? Get any bonuses for that? Unity amp, prodigy amp. 
Another medical kit. <laughs> Why do you always hear Rex when I say Rex? Because the W is silent. Hmm. Prodigy amp for me. Yeah, cooldown bonus. Nice cooldown bonus. Or Omni tools. Ah, does it lower the difficulty check on Veermeyer? That, that makes sense. I don't think I knew that, but it makes sense. Why do we still have a quest marker in here? Oh well. We may as well check out the other two sites on the planet. One of them might be Matriarch Writings. That would be excellent. is not the door we came in through. We were in here, though. I just go. missed one of the containers. These rooms are all the same. How did I get lost? I'm kind of bummed about the 60 FPS not working out, but you know what? It was a, it was a two-part test. The... Bandwidth was stable over the weekend. I ran three tests of about 30, 45 minutes each at 3,500 bitrate, and it held up. I didn't drop frames at that bitrate, so I'll have to see. I'll have to see. I'll do some more tests off stream, but either, I don't know, maybe some upgrades to the stream PC or replacing the stream PC at some point, and we should be a go for uh, at least 720, 60. Now that I've... Now that I've touched on it. I really want to do it. And I see now the reason why my tests at 60 were going okay. Uh, it's because I was testing with an 8-bit game. I was playing Blaster Master Zero on the Switch and testing with that mostly. What's up, Ford? Welcome back. Yeah, replaced the data drive. I had it sitting here until just recently. I was using an old, a six-year-old Intel solid-state drive. The OS is actually running off another one of those. The controller chip on those 510 and I think the 520 series is the Sandforce controller, which had a reputation for problems, including, why did I climb up this hill? Uh, had a reputation for catastrophic failures, and this was not that, but after six years of heavy use, this drive came out of a... Actually, this solid-state drive came out of a client's machine once upon a time and got repurposed. And then I've been using it for streaming 30-plus hours a week for the past year. So it's really been a heavy-use drive, and I do have indications that it's the cause, though it may have just been a symptom. That's what I fear. I fear that something else was killing the drive. Electronic skill too low. Damn, we may have to... Do um... you think there's any chance this probe has the matriarch writings? Can matriarch writings come out of a probe? It's not going to be enough. We'll need to bring someone down here with more electronic skill. We want to get this. Damn. 
they can. Damn. All right, let's do a quick turnaround. We got Rex's armor. Let's pop back to Normandy and drop right back down here with someone else. Tally, she's got most of that covered. No combat strength. Mm. We're back at the starting position on the map. Squad wise, electronics maxed. Liara's got it maxed. And Tali. Okay, it was hacking and decryption, but not electronics is working on with Tali. Not as much. Just like accuracy and weapon overheating with squad mates is a little hard to keep track of on their weapons, how much it matters. If it actually does make a functional difference in combat, it's hard to feel that in combat. Same thing with. Skills like Marksman or Overkill. <clears throat> I'll uh, spend some points while we're here, though. Yeah, Ford, uh, yeah, I hear you. And, and with solid state drives, they tend to go from fully operational to catastrophic failure if they're gonna fail. Although, although there there is a whole wide range of failures short of catastrophic that can occur. A lot of the control, I, I am no expert in this stuff, but a lot of the controller chips, um, they were evolving rapidly at that time. There were different pieces of hardware that perform drastically uh, with drastically different results both in performance uh, especially stuff like wear leveling trim was was pretty new concept then wasn't it anyways the sandforce controller based ssds were not that loved Okay, <laughs> it's not the pyramid. I guess I wasn't seeing, there's gotta be a scan. Wasn't seeing it from the Mako. Sorry, capsule. Shit, I just slipped. Okay, Matriarch's writing, only two more to go. Found one of Matriarch Dillanaga's writings on this body. It's possible the writings came from the nearby ruins. booster on the Mako, like the Nomad, would be a beautiful thing. 
And really, when they were designing the Mako, why didn't someone think of a booster? Even more, they really did. They just, they only put one in for lift. They didn't put one in for forward thrust. Hell, they could take those same ones and just have them pivot. Get some extra thrust. Yeah, rear booster for mountain climbing. Seems like the sort of thing they might have thought to consider, but might have thought to include. Mercury. more nomad. Decrypting bypass. Why is there no why is there no actual decryption option? Because we came down here before and skill was too low? Did that just wall it off? Tungsten rounds, fusion explosives, shredder rounds. Okay. What are we doing on Omni Gel? Done with this planet. Go after Dr. Salient. Garrus gave the coordinates of Dr. Salian's last known whereabouts. Head to the Herschel system in the Kepler Verge. Planets. Modular conveyor of human de <clears throat> human design. In addition to the standard cargo bay, the hull has several biological research modules attached. Registry private owner, Dr. R. Hart. So Garrus is coming with. A Garrus and Tali. set city this is greetings folks greetings city how you doing Ow. 
Hi. Overload on him? Uh, yeah. I think I was going for Gambling just because it has a little damage with it. That's not what I did. Yeah, I used Overload. <laughs> Let's Overload those husks! Baby, nice to see you again. City, what do you got going on this week? No computer work lined up this week, so just stream Thank stuff. You. Thank you for saving me from those things. Just awesome. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Garrus? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please. Don't let him do this to me. <sighs> okay, I've never done this. Not that I recall. Back down, Garrus. Time to die, Doctor. Middle option. Time to die, Doctor. Finish him. Oh, man. How confused could Garrus possibly be? Garrus says it's him. Garrus says it's him. <sighs> Gotta go with Garrus on this one. You always kill him. Rain, um, I, I'm going with Garrus, who is going to kill him. I don't have any reason to kill him. I'm, I'm trusting Garrus on that. Sorry, Doc. I think your time is up. This is my kill, Garrus. Wait. You're all crazy! What do you mean? My kill. No, no, Garrus, he's all yours. What was that, Shepard? What the fuck was that? I got the same question Garrus does. There's no way to not kill him other than not doing the mission. Um, Never hesitate when you've got the enemy in your sights, Garrus. Point taken. Well, I guess we're done here. Uh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Salian's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to Normandy. That was weird. That had... That made all of no sense. Firestorm Avenger and Avenger. Even if you tell Garrus to back down, Salian pulls a gun and you kill him anyways. Okay. But the but the, it's your time to die, Doctor. Isn't just weird. On one level, it's weird that your your dialogue basically says, "Sorry, Garrus, this is my kill." All good. This struck me as very weird. Stiletto 7, Hurricane 6, Avenger 6. Excellent. It's guns. Energized Weave 6, Incendiary Round 6, Combat Scatter 7. It's punishment for trying to be middle of the road. Pick a side, you pansy. 
Ain't that how it goes? Phoenix Six, a hey, light Phoenix Six. Uh, why have we gotten so much Phoenix armor? Seems like all we pick up is Phoenix armor. This is why I finally bought this Scorpion Four. Didn't even loot it. It's been really hard to find good armor for Shepard. Ship's bridge. Nothing here. Let's talk Geth Quest to get Tali all excited about her pilgrimage. If possible. We got the UNC Geth Incursions, Geth Outposts. Is that part of it? Not part of it? If it's part of it, is that all of it? Do you think that's the one? So we should go there next if that's tied into getting the data that sets Tali off on wanting to do pilgrimage stuff. Eliminate all four Geth outposts identified in the Armstrong Cluster. The outposts are located in Gagarin, Tereshkova, Hong, and Vamshi systems. Armstrong Cluster, Skillion Verge. Before we even land, I'm gonna take a break in a few minutes. This seems like a better time to do it. We're gonna, I'm gonna make the breaks a little flexible. Instead of trying to force five minutes out of every hour, which sometimes I get a little weirded out by, seems too soon or too many, um, we're locking it into five to ten minutes every 90. We're just somewhere in there. Between an hour and an hour and a half, we're gonna break. Let's have a, it's about a seven minute break, two songs. And then we'll go after some geth. Yeah, I'm gonna go stretch my legs and feed the dogs. If you've been sitting in your chair for the past hour or more, I suggest you hop out too. Go stretch your legs, grab a drink, smoke them if you got them, and I'll see you back here in a few.